Hello and welcome to Knowledge Circle everyone. In today's video, we'll see some picture based question that can be very useful for computer examination of class 10th ICSC. Okay, so as per the new syllabus and the new paper pattern, image based questions, the picture based questions will be included in the examination. Okay, so in this video, I have I will cover minimum 20 questions and these questions can be very useful to you all so let's begin the very first figure let's if you look at this figure there are three animals in this figure so you can see that each animal has different voice so we can easily depict by watching this picture that it shows one name many forms so the correct answer will be polymorphism let's go to the second question if you look at the second figure uh, in this figure you can observe that there is a lady and uh, that lady shows again different forms the lady is in market the lady is in office the lady with the, their with her kids so again uh, here you can see that one name many form is depicted so one name many form means again it is uh, the op feature that is what polymorphism the second figure also depicts polymorphism let's go to the third figure here you can easily see that uh, mom and son so mom and son are there mom says i am base class and son says i am derived class so base class and derived class comes where it comes in the case of inheritance so which of the java uh, feature is depicted here you will say inheritance is depicted here let's go to the third one Question 3, here let's look at the figure where there is a shape, the name of the class is shape and then there is an area named method and there are three uh, method with the name area, area for circle, area for triangle and area for rectangle. Here also we can see that the method area is overloaded, means the same method with the different argument is available here. So again the correct answer will be polymorphism. So all the first three questions depict depicted the feature of Java that is polymorphism. Let's go to the fourth question. Let, let's see the uh, figure here. There is human class is human and there are uh, so many other classes also like doctor, engineer and uh, teacher and worker which is uh, indicating towards the, uh, the top class that is what human. So we, we can see here that here human plays the role of the base class and the other classes like doctor engineer teacher and worker they plays the role of derived class so once again we can say which feature it is inheritance okay now uh, let's go towards the next picture let's see the picture we can see but there's a class animal and there are several animals you can see in the picture so what these picture depict here these animals depict here these animals okay so we can say that uh, options are our data hiding, polymorphism, class object and platform independent. So these animals are object of which class? Animal class. So these animals are class object. So our correct option will be the option C that is class object. Let's move to the next question. In the next question, the figure is of a dog where some attributes and some methods are there like height, weight and food and methods are such as run, play and eat. So what does this dog depicts? Which concept of Java is depicted in the above picture? So we can see that this is what object. Dog is an object and every object has certain set of attributes and, and it uh, has some certain uh, methods. So here the correct answer is option B, object. Let's go to the next question. In this figure, you can see that there is a man and uh, again man is there in the, at the different places man shows the different forms like in the market is a, uh, the customer with the children role is different so again it is one name many form answer will be polymorphism let's go to the next question in the next uh, figure we can see there is a class animal and it is indicating towards the two more figures that is dog and cat so again what we depict from here it is like animal is the base class and dog and cat are derived classes. So base class and derived classes are the concept of inheritance. The correct option will be B, inheritance. 
let's go to the next question here in this figure there are so many living objects living organisms and uh, they shows uh, they produce different sounds again one name many form so this feature of java is what polymorphism so from this uh, picture we depict polymorphism so the correct option will be option d polymorphism let's go to the next question question number 11 what is the next question let's see the figure in question number 11 uh, there is a dog the class is dog and it contains some data members and some methods so what is contained by a class a class contains two basic things that is what members and methods so here the dog represent a class so the correct option will be class option a question 12 if you look at this figure you can see there is a old man transferring the properties to the next generation so again transferring of property or sharing the property or acquiring the property from one class to another that is what inheritance so here option b will be correct inheritance moving towards question 13 if you look at this figure uh, this figure is quite simple and it's it can be easily understood that the, uh, the first at the top parent and at the bottom you can see that the children are connected so parent class and child class once again parent class and child class it shows the concept of inheritance so option b is correct inheritance let's go towards the question 14 you can see uh, by watching this figure that uh, data is there and there is a lock symbol so what can be the feature encapsulation inheritance data hiding or polymorphism what can be the correct feature of java so by looking at this picture we can say that the correct answer is data hiding data hiding let's go towards next question question number 15 this figure shows that there is a class and class contains what we know that class contains two things that is methods and variables okay and here you can see one figure of capsule where a class contains uh, variables and methods which is encapsulated by the class which is protected by the class wrapped up by the class so here the correct feature of java which is depicted by this picture is the first very first option encapsulation let's go to the next question the next figure you can see a man using atm machine so what does atm machine shows atm is a machine and which uh, shows us essential features and hide the complexity so which of the op principle of java is depicted here so the correct answer will be the third one option c abstraction every machine shows abstraction which hides the complexities and represent the essential features once again the next question question 17 there is a car and there is a boy thinking about how the car works you can see that how the car works so again same thing car is a machine car gives us essential features important features but the complexity of the car is hidden from the user so once again uh, there are four options encapsulation inheritance abstraction and polymorphism so the correct answer will be once again abstraction because uh, uh, you can say that complexities are hidden and the features are shown moving towards question number 18 so this question will be answered by you all you just look at this figure and try to comment the answer options are encapsulation data hiding abstraction and polymorphism this answer you all have to answer in the comment okay so i'll be going towards the next question the next question is you can see uh, there is a class parent class named vehicle and there are some child classes named cycle car and scooter so it's very simple that there is a parent class and child class so you can easily depict what will be the correct answer here which feature of java is depicted so the correct feature of java depicted from this picture is again inheritance because the concept of parent class and child class is there let's go towards the last question of this video uh, just look at this figure there is a class file which is uh, uh, executed by jvm for the different platforms so by looking this picture you have to answer options are reusability polymorphism abstraction and platform independent so 
JVM does what? It uh, executes the bytecode on different platform. So which makes the Java a platform independent language. So the correct the correct picture, the correct feature of Java here is platform independent. So that's all we have for today's video. If you feel this video is very useful to you, kindly share this video to your friends.